Hello, in this video we will speak about units of volume. We have different units of volume. I grouped them in two groups, the cubic meter and its derivatives, and the liter with its derivative, deciliter, centiliter, and milliliter. Also, I put each one of them in decreasing order. That is, I started from the largest unit, which is the liters, until we reach the smallest unit, which is the milliliter. The same thing was done here. I started with the cubic meter and then in decreasing order of units. That is, the cubic meter is larger than the cubic decimeter or decimeter cube is larger than centimeter cube and is larger than millimeter cube. Now, how do we convert between these different units? Let's start with the liter and the sub units. If we want to convert from liter to deciliter, then we are going down. When you go down, you multiply because you're going from the large unit to the small unit. Each step you go down, you multiply by 10. And each step you go up, you divide by 10. If you go two steps, for example, if you go from liter to centiliters, okay, two steps, one, two, then you multiply by 100. That is 10 power 2. And if you go from liter to milliliter, then you multiply by 10 power 3 because you have three steps. 1, 2, 3. The same thing if you go upward. For example, if you go from milliliter to centiliter, you want to convert, then you divide by 10. If you want to convert from milliliter to deciliter, these are two steps, so you divide by 100. Let's take an example. If I want, for example, to convert from liters to, let's say, milliliters, then because I'm going down, then I multiply. So three times, how many steps? One, two, three steps. Each step times 10, so this is times 10 power three, so we have 3,000 milliliters. Let's take another example. So let's say I have 5,000 milliliters and I want to express them in deciliters. So since I'm going up, I divide and by how many steps? One, two, then I divide by 100. So I have 50 deciliters. Let's move to the other set, the cubic meter. Here, if I want to go one step downwards, also I multiply, but I multiply times 10 power 3, because here we have cube and here we have 3. If I want to go up, I will divide by 10 power 3. So each step here, we divide or multiply by 10 power 3. So let's say, for example, I want to convert from meter cube to centimeter cube. Then, because I'm going down, I'll multiply and because we have two steps, then I'll be multiplying by 10 power 6. If I want to convert from meter cube to millimeter cube, then if I'm going down, I multiply. If I'm going up, I divide. And by how many steps? 1, 2, 3 steps. So times 10 power 9. And of course, if I'm going up, I divide. Let's take an example. So for example, let's say I have a three meter cube and I want to express this in centimeters cube. So because I'm going down, so I multiply three times. How many steps? One, two steps. Each step times 10 power three, then times 10 power six uh, centimeter cube. Another example, so assuming we have, okay, we have 7,000 centimeter cube and I want to express it in decimeter cube. Then because I'm going up, I have to divide. Because it's one step, then by 1,000. So we have 7 decimeter cube. And this is how we convert between different units of volume. Now, how can we convert from this side of units to this side of units or vice versa? So, for example, if I have deciliter, how can I convert it to cubic meters? Or if I have millimeter cube, how can I convert it to centiliters? 
Now, bear in mind that all of, the, all of these units are units of volume. They are units of the same quantity. So we can express any one of them in terms of the other. It means that we can convert any of these units to any of these units. How are we going to do this? We have this equality here. The cubic decimeter is equal to the liter. So these two are equal, okay? And these two are also equal. So the centimeter cube equal to the milliliter. Okay, we'll write these alone. Decimeter cube equal liters and centimeter cube equal to the milliliters. It means that if I have, for example, four liters, it's the same as saying four decimeter cube. Or if I have 6.5 milliliters, it's the same as 6.5 centimeters cube. Okay, now let's try something else. If I want to convert, for example, from meter cube, let's say I have nine meter cube, and I want to convert it to liters, what can I do? So nine meter cube, I have first to convert it to decimeter cube, and then the decimeter cube equal to the liter. So how can I convert from meter cube to decimeter cube? As we said, because we're going down, we multiply, and because it's one step, so we multiply by 10 power 3. So 9,000 watt decimeter cube. And then, as we said, the decimeter cube equals to the liter. So we just copy the same number, 9,000 liters. Let's take another example. So let's say, for example, I have uh, 9 centiliters and I want to convert it to millimeter cube. Okay, so 9 centiliters, how can I convert it to millimeter cube? We cannot directly, so we will convert centiliter to milliliters. We're going down, so we multiply, and it's only one step, so I'll multiply by 10. So we have 90 milliliters. Then, as we said, the milliliter equal to the centimeter cube. The 90 milliliters equal 90 centimeter cube. And last, we convert from centimeter cube to millimeter cube. How? By multiplying by 10 power 3. So we're multiplying because we're going down. And one step here is 10 power 3. So we have 9 times 10 power 4 millimeter cube. And that's how we convert between different units of volume.